Hey everybody, this is Riker Ryder and welcome back to Let's Play Trauma Center New Blood. We are going to begin Operation 5-3, Fade to Black. I read Cynthia's report and needless to say I was shocked by what she's discovered. Calorium is the cause of stigma? It's a factor, sir, not the cause. Try telling that to our customers. All they care about is whether or not it's a health risk. Many of our products use calorium. Without it, our subsidiary, Columba and Cornix, would be out of business. This kind of information could destroy our reputation. Hold on. Just calm down. The problem here is not calorium. Nor is it stigma, since it's actually not very contagious. It's those who are using stigma as a biological weapon that we should be worried about. We must educate the public to avoid a panic. Yes, I see your point. But we have no idea who's behind all this. Anyway, I'll immediately allocate more resources to Stigma Research. Humani's reputation must be maintained. His vitals are stable, but the test results don't look good. The blood gas analysis shows negative base excess. The ALT and AST values are high, too. Just as I thought. A follow-up operation is required. You're gonna cut open my stomach again? We weren't able to remove all of the damage to your liver. It would be dangerous to leave it. Doctor, I used to die on screen, but I'm not ready to die for real. <laughs> That's right. Kanaya told us how you learned karate and became an actor. So far, I've only gotten supporting roles. But still, it's taken a lot of hard work. I'm sure it has. Karate is more than just kicks and punches, right? Yeah, it requires mental discipline, too. Then show me some of that mental discipline during the operation, okay? If a patient maintains a strong will, then his body will respond likewise. The rest is up to us. Trust me, you'll be back on the set in no time, ready to be a leading man. I'll do my best. Uh, again, The huh? patient's condition has worsened. We need to figure out why. You're right. Kanaya must be so worried. Let's get him stabilized. We are going to be operating on the same area we did last time. We need to review our treatment of his injuries from the last operation and find out what's wrong now. We'll determine how to proceed further during the operation itself. Now let's all do our best. Why do I get the feeling this is going to be worse than the last one? out why the patient's condition has deteriorated. Please disinfect the area His and open maximum vitals are higher. Whoops. Th this can't be. All the synthetic membranes we applied to seal the wound are gone. Let's drain the blood. Draining the blood. Please continue. There's no doubt that this injury is the source of the hemorrhaging. The question is, why did he get so much worse? There must be another reason for this around here. We'll have to investigate it again while reapplying the synthetic membranes. Use the ultrasound and internal hemorrhage. This must be what caused his condition to worsen. Let's see before hemorrhage. There's so much hemorrhaging. We need to determine the reason why. Maybe opening all those up at once was a bad idea. There may be other internal hemorrhages nearby as well. Let's find and treat them. Oh, no cardiac arrest. Okay, let's just open up two of them this time.
All right. The area is hemorrhaging again. Drain of blood and a... That's the first one. Just make sure his vitals don't drop. Oh, beautiful timing again. Thank you, game. Thank you so much. It's hemorrhaging again. Drain it and apply a membrane. We're halfway done. This is the last one. Look out for recurring hemorrhages. <laughs> ah, I was almost done, too. Sky again. Please close them up. Yeah, this reminds me of the pimp the operations in chapter four of Second Opinion. Are you sure this is the right way, Dr. Vaughn? Hold on. We just turned on the seventh, so yeah, this is right, I think. You have all the coronary arteries memorized, but you can't remember simple directions. It's nice of Kanaya to treat us to dinner. But I wonder if we'll make it in time. Well, I doubt we'll get another offer like this from her again. Um, Dr. Vaughn, it seems kind of dark this way. This can't be right. Yeah. I'll turn right at the next intersection. That should take us to... You three, don't make a sound. So now we have us at gunpoint. If you want to live, then do as I say. Now, get inside that car. We'll give you all our money if you just let us go. <laughs> Sorry, but it ain't your wallets we're after. Now hurry up and get in! No! Someone help! Please! Elena! Didn't I tell you to be quiet? What did you just do? These days, anesthesia can be administered via pen injectors. Pretty handy, wouldn't you say? What do you want from us? Let's save that for later, shall we? Sweet dreams. Dr. Vaughn! Marcus! <sighs> Beautiful. Next time on Let's Play Trauma Center New Blood, we're gonna happen, uh, we're gonna find out what happened to him. <laughs> <laughs>